Uh, Mick Fullerton joins us today from the Western Reptile Removal, and he's here with oh, he's he's on me thumb. He's, not Mick. Sorry, not Mick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mick's over here. Yeah. Mick's not on my thumb. Yeah. Um, Mick, Mick, who's on my thumb right uh, now? So that's Max. He's a Southwest Carpet Python, one of our pet right. snakes from home. You're here to share with us some advice around snake season. Yep. Um, and just basically what to do. And I've been hearing, actually, um, that we're in for quite the snake season this year. Oh, definitely. There's a lot more suburbs that have popped up now and, you know, more bushland that's been pushed down, so... It's definitely going to get busy. So this this one that I'm holding, Max. Yep. Why is he so incredibly placid and timid, and I can just hold him like this, and he's just happy chilling and yeah, relaxing? Yeah, so he's just not a scared snake. He's used to being handled. Right. Um, I mean, a snake that's not scared is never going to de- get defensive and bite. Yeah, okay. They're only going to bite to protect themselves. So, um, yeah, he's just used to it, so he's super happy. He actually lo- loves getting a handle that guy. What is the best thing for people to do? I know uh, I unfortunately had a snake in my backyard in Riverton, okay, which was yeah. the last thing I was mm. expecting. I moved in on the Sunday and I came home on the Tuesday and I found one of my dogs had died oh, from a snake yeah. bite and the other one, thankfully, I was able to save in time just by the time I got home. Uh, but I wouldn't have known what to do. I-, I just think that if I had seen the snake, who do I call, where do I go, do I try and scare them away or do I just leave them alone, hide, lock the dogs and the kids up? What do you do? Yeah, so you want to separate kids or dogs first, get it away and don't get too close yourself, especially if a dog's involved or, or a cat because a snake is in that super defensive mode. So it just wants to, you know, keep itself safe and bite if, it, if someone gets too close. But once you do that, you just call the snake catcher, like us for instance. Mm-hmm. Um, there's plenty around now. Actually, there's a lot of well, – it's like a – the mine sort of started training people up. Oh. So there's a lot of people oh, up there that okay. actually went yeah. and got a license to yeah. relocate now. Um, then there's just still a few more people like me that have just been doing it forever. The last thing you want to do is the old approach is go out there with a shovel. Oh, no. I mean, it's, yeah. people have died from doing that. Like a, the snake just turns into a whole different animal. They don't deserve it, mm. but you're playing with fire. It's also illegal, isn't it? It is illegal. Yeah. Big yeah. fines too. Yeah. But um, you, it is so dangerous because, I mean, I can calmly get a snake into a hoop bag or a drum. Because I'm calm with the snake. Yes. But you go at a snake with a shovel, like you're going to get a snake that's super quick, one of the most venomous snakes in the world, like a dew guide or a tiger snake, mm-hmm. and you ask them for trouble. Pressure bandages are a big thing. Yes. A lot of call outs to go to. No one knows. Some people don't know about a pressure bandage, yep. which will save your life. No okay. one's died from a snake bite with a pressure bandage on. If you live in Perth, say you're up in Mount Helena or in the mm. bush somewhere, Water Grove where the tigers are going off, just do a bit of research, have snake catchers numbers on standby. And have a bit of a protocol, like, you know, pressure bandages in your house just in case something does go wrong. Mm -hmm. Have the vet's number somewhere quick if your dog gets bitten. It's basically just being aware and having that full-blown awareness. Being prepared. Um, Living in this country, like, you have to. I mean, our snakes are so venomous. Mm. Um, And they'll never hurt you, so it's just don't encroach on a snake. Mm. They'll always go the other way. Mm. Snakes just aren't a... A scary creature. They're highly misunderstood. Yeah. yeah. Like um, I work with highly venomous snakes all the time. The amount of relocating I do, and I, I've got no worry in the world. Mm. Um, I know what to do, not yeah. you know, not to get too close. They're with just protecting yeah. themselves. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Brilliant. How's Maxie? Just, he is awesome. Just hanging out on top of my microphone <laughs> at the moment. Cool. What a legend. Thanks, mate. Yeah. No worries. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for having me.